Peter is an ordinary guy, but something is missing in his life. He wants to become rich and famous. As he loves movies, he thinks about producing one. He wants to produce the best movie ever made. So he goes online to find out which genres are rated best, what are very popular keywords, and what are the leading actors. He finds a lot of data to many movies that were produced in the past, and he is suddenly blown away by the amount of data he can find. A friend tells him about SAP Lumira, which is a great software to visualize big data. Peter loads in several datasets from an internet-based movie database into Lumira. He first of all has a look on the actors. He has several measurements like acting skills, role transformation or overall versatility. Besides that, he has some figures for the Golden Globes and for the Oscars as well. He first of all filters out all actors that are not alive anymore and not available for his movie. Then he has a look on the nominations and the awards won by the name. Jack Nicholson, for example, won 13 awards and was nominated 29 times, so he's the, first, he's the leader in this field. The next picture shows us the acting skills for the top 15 award winners, as Peter wants to focus on the top 15 award winners only. As you can see, the first five all have an overall acting skill of 5.0. Next picture shows us the overall versatility by name for the also for the top 15 award winners. Jack Nicholson still is top as he has an overall versatility of 5.0. Dustin Hoffman somehow is lacking as he has an overall versatility of 4.8 only. Daniel Day-Lewis, great actor, has an overall versatility of 5.0 as well. Next picture shows us the role transformation by name. And here we can see that Jack Nicholson, the top award winner with 13 awards won, is really lacking. His role transformation is only at 4.8, while Dustin Hoffman, his role transformation is great with a 4.0, and Daniel Day-Lewis also is great with 4.0. So Peter thinks about which actor is now the best for my movie. As with his movie, they will win some awards anyway, he wants to focus on the skill side only. So he has a detailed look on the skills. And there he can see that acting skills, overall versatility and role transformation is only best with one actor which is Daniel Day-Lewis. In all categories he has a 5.0. Next he has a look on the actresses. He wants to have an actress as well. For the actresses he focuses on the nominations and awards won by the respective actor. Meryl Streep is the perfect actress for his movie. After figuring out which actor and actress is best for his movie, he tries to figure out the genre he should choose. He sees that most of the movies are dramas in this database. Second, he has a look on the average rating per genre. He sees that documentary or music is rated quite high, while action is rated quite low in average. He decides to choose drama as there are a lot of movies for dramas and it is rated quite okay. Next he has a look on the quantity of movies per country. He sees that the United States produced most of the movies, but also countries like Belize or Guatemala still produce some movies in his database. Now he has a look on the average rating per country for the genre drama. He sees for example that the US has an average rating of 6.7 for the shorter drama, while Mexico even is better with 6.88, and Panama even is better with 7.1. But he wants to find the best country to produce his movie in. And he finds the best country, which is Libya, with an average ranking of 8.45. And the movies that were produced in Libya 
are quite a few, but all rank very high. And finally, he wants to find very popular keywords. He already has a genre, which is drama, and now lists the top 10 keywords. A lot of keywords are in, and he picks some of them to produce his movie. After analyzing all this data in SAP Lumira, his research suggests to produce a drama in Libya with the keywords Missing Hand, Personal Quest and Female Knight. His movie Titan's Quest, starring Meryl Streep as Miranda, Daniel Day-Lewis as Sir Gim, was a great success. Peter thanks SAP Lumira.